the latest update has arrived in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Version 1.2 is here. As already established in the last Nintendo trailer video, two new NPCs have been added to the game. They are Leaf, the jolly sloth who loves to garden, and Red, a pirate fox selling counterfeit art and black market furniture. Leaf owns a stool in the plaza where he sells rare flowers and newly implemented shrubs. Although Leaf has been introduced alongside the Nature Day event running from April 23rd to May 4th, he is not restricted to only appearing during this time. Don't worry, you don't need to stockpile as many bushes as you can to last you a whole year until the next Nature Day event. Jolly Red's treasure trawler is a ship that docks at the little secret beach on the north shore of your island. Step inside to see what Red is selling. He will have four pieces of art consisting of either paintings or sculptures, but only one of these will be the original, so study them closely before you buy. He will also sell exclusive furniture that you wouldn't normally be able to buy from Timmy and Tommy. I'm not currently sure the exact schedule, but Red should visit your island once a week. Obviously, with Red's presence, the museum is now able to upgrade for a second time to accommodate a new art exhibit. The next section of the patch notes states that the update has added seasonal events. This is referring to Nature Day, May Day, Museum Day, and Wedding Season which all occur between April and May. As discussed already, Nature Day encourages eco-friendly behavior like planting shrubs and hedges. May Day involves a new mystery tour island and the new NPC rover. The end of May celebrates Museum Day with a stamp rally sending you on a quest to collect stamps at different locations. And lastly, all of June is dedicated to wedding season where you can utilize Photopia to create anniversary and wedding style photo shoots. The final patch note addressed issues to further ensure an enjoyable gaming experience. Although vague, I believe this is referring to a rebalance on bank interest. When you first log into New Horizons after downloading the update, you will receive a letter from the Bank of Nook. It will explain that the interest rate you earn on bells stored in your saving account has been reduced. This is because players have been generating insane amounts of bells through time travel, which is skewing the economy of the game. I've seen people both charge and pay hundreds of thousands of bells for mundane items because it's just a drop in the millions that they have. And those prices seem ridiculous to someone who is playing the game slowly and just selling fish and bugs. Nintendo have attempted to rebalance this, but what do you think? Does this annoy or delight you? If it makes you feel any better, Nintendo gives you a Bell's bag shaped rug to decorate your home with. Although the patch notes end there, there's been a few updates to the game which haven't been mentioned. Another new item brought in with the recent content is a world map which Nintendo sends you in the post as a thank you for playing and downloading the latest software version. Radios and speakers placed across your island can be given individual KK slider songs to play. Previously, they were all synchronized in playing the same track, but now this gives you even more customization to decorate and theme different areas. Next up, if you have experienced the I've moved out villager glitch, this should now be fixed. On your next in-game day, the glitched villager's house will be removed from your island. Unfortunately, if you had another villager waiting to move in, they will get lost during the process. Lastly, don't forget to check out the Nook store in your local resident services because two new shirts have been added. Now you can get into the summer mood with these Nook Inc. Aloha shirts in coral and green variations. They are only 600 Nook miles each. So what do you think of the latest patch? Not only is Nintendo keeping the content coming, they are also addressing issues quickly, so I really applaud them for that. What would you like to see added in the next update? And for more news, tips, gameplay, and everything else Animal Crossing, stay tuned on Ginger Lemon. Thanks for watching and see you next time.